What's up guys, it's King Josh back with another video and today I'm going to show you guys my new guard build. So as you guys know, I do have a 99 overall offensive threat build. It is the slasher sharpshooting pie chart and I decided to kind of remake this build but make it a little bit better because in the beginning of the year, I thought I was only going to use this player for mixtapes and then use a big man as my primary player. But this guard actually is my primary player so I decided to remake it, make it a lot better and as you can see, here is the build. We have a scoring machine. This build is the same pie chart for the attributes, but I actually chose a different pie chart for the physicals. And I spread out the attributes differently. So if you guys want to see the way I made this build, let me know. I can actually get up to 93 overall right now, but I'm not going to upgrade my post fade and close shot because I don't really need that yet. So I'm just going to wait till I max my attributes. My close shot does max out at a 90. Then we have driving layup is an 85. Driving dunk is an 83 right now, so I can't get contact dunks until 96 overall. But I'm almost there, so I'm fine with that. Then I have 58 standing dunk, 48 post hook. For the shooting, I have an 84 mid-range, 83 three-pointer. 88 free throw and then my post fade maxes out at a 90 which is really good especially because a lot of guards don't really know how to guard post moves and i'm really good with that because last year my primary player was a post scorer then going into the passing i have 79 pass accuracy 82 ball control 43 post moves then for defense i have 37 interior defense 75 perimeter defense 73 lateral quickness 72 steel which is one of the things that i changed the most about this build because on my other build i didn't upgrade the steel at all i didn't care about defensive badges since it was just for mixtapes then i have a 67 block a 30 offensive rebound and 35 defensive rebound if i were to upgrade this player to a 93 my physicals would be 84 speed 87 acceleration 53 strength 77 vertical and 94 stamina and that's without the gym rat badge so once i do get the gym rat badge I'm pretty sure my speed and acceleration will both be in the 90s and my strength vertical and stamina will also be a lot higher. Now going on to the badges, as you can see, I just need one badge in every category and then the badges are maxed. I decided that I only needed 17 finishing badges instead of 21 because on my other build, I actually have some finishing badges that aren't even that good so 21 was a little bit too many for the badges. I decided to just put the rest of those into defense so I have four less finishing badges than my other guard build. I have the same exact shooting badges. 21 shooting badges is a pretty good amount. Shooting badges are very important in this game, so I made sure to max out my shooting. For playmaking, I had 17 on my other build. I figured I only need 12. Honestly, you really only need three or four of the playmaking badges. Like right now, I actually have Lob City Passer on just for my career. But once I do get 12 badges, I think I'm going to put them on Handles for Days, Quick First Step, Unpluckable. And then the fourth one, I'm probably going to switch between Flashy Passer and Tight Handles. Because Flashy Passer is actually a really underrated badge. I want to try that out. But for sure, you want to have handles for days, quick first step, and kind of unpluckable. It's not the best of badges, but it definitely helps you get ripped a little bit less. So I'm going to keep these three on all the time. And then for the fourth one, I'm just going to switch between flashy passer and tight handles. For the defense on my other build, I only had one badge because I figured I was just going to use the player for mixtapes, which is pretty much all offense. But now that this build is actually going to be one of my main builds to play this game on, I decided that I need five defensive badges. Right now I have it on Clamps Gold and Intimidator Bronze. Once I do get another badge, I think I'm going to put Interceptor Bronze, but I'm definitely going to try Pick Dodger, Pick Pocket, maybe even Rim Protector and Chase Down Artist on a guard just to see how good they are. Once I do max out all my badges and get to 99 overall on this build, I'll give you guys an attribute update. I'll show you guys all my attributes, my physicals, my badges, all that stuff. And for those of you that are wondering, this build is 6'5", which is the same height as my other build, but I actually decided to go minimum weight i went maximum weight on my other build because i figured since i was a slasher i needed a lot of strength but honestly you don't need that high of strength for contact dunks you just need contact finisher hall of fame and once i do get gym rat i'll actually be able to speed boost i think at 97 or 96 overall because my speed is going to go way up which will also make my speed with ball go up here are my finishing badges for you guys that want to see them these are obviously not going to be the badges i end up with because a lot of these badges i am using for my career for my shooting badges i have flexible release gold and corner specialist hall of fame I'm not even going to have these badges on once I'm done with my career. It's just the my career method I use. I just take corner shots. I'm definitely going to change these badges up. And I'll show you guys all my badges once I do hit 99 overall and max my badges. Anyway, that's going to be it for the video. If you guys want to see this build at 99 overall, make sure to get this video to 25 likes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been King Josh and I'm out. Peace.